Bloomhide! <laughs> 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 Heard a lot about East Perth. The reviews are not exactly glowing. However, they contain the most indubitable energy. As part of the state's precious city, it leaves a Schrodinger's life. Both the central and thus populous part of Perth, it also has a Whitnoom Cross Fallout ghost town vibe to it. Formerly an industrial area, back in the day when Kalgoorlie had an influence beyond being a massive ketamine sink, East Perth has been incorporated into the expansion of the city with an aesthetic flair that resembles the Half-Life Source engine graphics. I can't go a single video out making a Half-Life reference. Though, I would honestly not be surprised if there was a Black Mesa research facility hidden underground in East Perth, except at a much less confusing railroad level, given I can actually traverse the uh, Perth train lines. Next station, Coburn Central. The only person who seems to exist on the surface of East Perth is a homeless man who spends his time traversing between the hospital and the BWS with an incredibly consistent workflow. Only stopping sometimes at the post office to drink cheap Chardonnay with his presumed girlfriend. Hard thing to miss, as it slaps you with its massive photonic d is the insistence of non-dirt ridden towns to use extremely white concrete as though it assumes everyone has eclipse grade sunglasses on hand at all times. East Perth is an exact replica of what the governance glassing policy would look like if it happened to Earth, but instead, due to budgetary reasons, the glassing process was replaced with concrete. East Perth brings the vibe that most first person puzzle shooter games bring, with its population of signs usually outnumbering that of the people. I mean, this part of the city may as well be one of those single-player 12-year-old Minecraft servers. Surprisingly, the only signs that don't exist are those that are against trespassing. East Perth has delivered the future on that front, delivering an entirely new service, as what I can only assume are municipally distributed homeless men walk around town and accuse you of trespassing. Yeah, we get off of my property, Oh yeah, nice hat. Where'd you get it? Oh, good for free. From one of them festivals. And they do it with such conviction and drunken authority that you, for a split second, just for a split second, believe in that drunk homeless man more than any governmental body in the history of humankind. These are just a small handful of insights gifted to me as someone who knows people from East Perth. We'll call him a mutual benefactor. My god, that's like the fifth Half-Life reference. If you have any more interesting East Perth insights or information, feel free to tell me in the comments. As I'm sure from the very small sampling that I already have, is gonna be good. I feel like I've had tappers or something after hearing about that place. Yeah.